Right, so this is my V10 vlogging setup. I've got it all set up and ready to go for an upcoming trip. I think this is gonna be the camera that I maybe take abroad. I'm not 100% sure yet because I still haven't totally made my mind up about this device and whether or not it's gonna be my go-to vlogging device because this has just come along and we're gonna be doing a video comparing these two against the iPhone to see Really, if you need a camera or you can do most stuff on your phone or you need something like this, can you just get away with something so small like this? So yeah, stay tuned for that video. We're going to compare all these devices in an upcoming video because the market is getting crowded. That camera, the Insta360 GO 3, is phenomenal. The only drawback is that you can't add external audio and that's only really a problem in certain scenarios. So. I tend to go for this. Living in the UK, I do a lot of vlogging outside and sometimes the wind is the issue. So this is where this sort of setup comes in really handy. So I've got the Canon V10 on this Ulanzi tripod. This is my favorite tripod of all time. It, I think it's called the MT14. Yeah, it's called the MT14. I'll link it down below if I can find it on Amazon. It's got a really strong ball head, but it's got this cold shoe that's built in onto the tripod itself so you don't have to have it attached to the camera you could do if you wanted to you've got these quarter inch screws on the uh, small rig cage that comes with the creator combo on the side right here but i haven't been very impressed with the creator combo it's definitely not worth the money even the cage is made out of plastic it's not a metal cage so i'm not impressed with it whatsoever so i haven't attached that to there so that's why i've gone for the microphone attachment on this tripod the microphone of choice is the rode video micro while i have tested other microphones in the past that i think have slightly richer sound quality the fact that this comes with a big dead cat on there it's reliable, it's got a nice quality cord on there from Rode that comes with the microphone and the uh, shock mount is pretty good. The audio is good and the wind is stopped from this massive dead cat and it's not in the shot, um, I've done some footage that I'll show you in just a second, you can't see it in the shot. So it's a pretty impressive setup and it's not too big, it's very very light, this camera is sort of the size of a standard wallet altogether, this is a pretty impressive 4K external audio, decent stabilization, wide angle lens, pretty good setup. We're out bird spotting, doing a bit of photography while Jake does that and looks around and tries to spot the little critters. Then I'm gonna do this vlog and just talk to you about this camera. So, yeah, overall. Canon V10, been really impressed with it. The one inch sensor, the picture looks good. The ideal settings I've found so far is with stabilization, just with the setting on rather than enhanced, because with enhanced you get a bit of a crop um, and it's just a little bit too tight. This is probably about perfect arm length away with the tripod. Um, stabilization on 4K, 25 frames per second with the external audio, of course, because that makes all the difference. This is probably the most legendary microphone when it comes to vloggers, the Rode Video Micro. It sounds really good, and not only that, it's got the big wind muff on there. When it comes with the microphone, it's attached there, and that stops a lot of the, the wind noise coming from the sides or whatever, because that is just annoying. There's a lot of competition for this camera, and that particular thing where you can have external audio with this big wind muff on there is a big, big plus. If it wasn't for that, I'd fully recommend the Insta360 GO 3, which is the new camera that's just been released. That camera's wicked. It's a lot smaller, a lot lighter. It's got just as many features as this camera has. It's a simple to use, flip up screen. But the one drawback of that camera is it hasn't got an external audio option. So yeah, this that's a big plus of this camera. You've got that microphone input. We've got a USB-C input, which I'm presuming can be used to sort of plug this into the webcam utility. So we can use this as a webcam as well. I'll test that in a future video, so make sure you do stay tuned for that one. So, three things. One, screen. While it has got a touch screen, and that's really handy, and it has got a flip-up screen above the lens, which is the best place to have a flip-up screen, for vlogging anyway, it's tiny. It's so, so small. It's really, really hard to even see the frame I sort of drift up a little bit or I drift down and chop the top of my head off it's so small it's smaller than a GoPro but smaller than the Insta360 GO 3 and that's the smallest camera there is at the moment uh, as like a point and shoot it's tiny don't like it second thing is build quality build quality 
while it's light, small, portable, the plastic is very scratch prone. I've already sort of got little scratches around it. It's sort of that sort of a grainy kind of plastic material. Don't like it at all. I wish it was like more of a rubbery grip on there and sort of a harder kind of plastic. It's a very sort of grainy, easily scratched plastic. Don't like it. Thirdly, the creator vlogging kit from Small Rig. Waste of money. Absolute waste of money. Do not buy it. So like I said, one inch sensor, it's a lot bigger than action cameras. It's a lot bigger than phone cameras. So you are gonna get a better picture out there. We've got face autofocus. We've got that wide angle, which is sort of equivalent to 19 mil. Uh, we've got that stabilization, which is good. You can have it on enhanced if you want to, but I think this is just, just good enough. It looks good, the footage. It's easy to use. And that is one of the main things about this camera. It's just simple. You open it up, you turn it on, you flip the screen up and you press a big red button on the front. It's got this like vertical phone-like design, if you like. So it's just very simple to use. There's the menus, the same sort of menu you'd get in most cameras, in most Canon cameras, sorry, but it's still like dumbed down a little bit. So it's very, very easy to use and it's good quality. So that is my vlogging setup. You've seen what it's about. You've heard some of my other thoughts on this camera. I definitely will reiterate the Creator Combo is not worth the money. The magnets are not strong enough for the wind muffs that come on top of there. The cage is plastic. You, I mean, you could get away with not really having this uh, lens cap because the lens doesn't sort of protrude out very much. I have got it on there just to protect it from scratches and scrapes in the bag So maybe you might have that something like that But you'd be able to pick up something third-party off Amazon I'm pretty sure and then I'm not going to use the case So those are the things that come with the creative combo for the extra money. It's just not worth it I mean, I'm still torn. I'm still not sure about this camera, but this is a pretty decent setup we're heading towards near perfect vlogging setup and like I mentioned the screen's too small on this camera um, but I'm, I still like it it's simple but we are going to be talking further about in these comparison videos against these other cameras like your phone and this Insta360 GO 3 do you need a dedicated camera can you get away with using your personal device like an iPhone 14 for instance or can you buy something that's a little bit cheaper like the GO 3 and sacrifice that external audio it's an interesting conversation and there's it's exciting times if you're into cameras and action cameras and vlogging cameras and if you're into this kind of thing, it really is exciting. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's other stuff on the horizon coming out very soon as well. So that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you subscribe before you leave, press the bell. It's free to do, doesn't cost you anything and you get notified every time I upload. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.